Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10, 14 days for today's uh, second video. Day 10 will take us to the 28th of September. Uh, we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the excellent GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe around two around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. It gets us into the middle of October. And I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first, a video is there, that's it, 10 UK weather forecast. Please like, share and subscribe on all today's videos and kind of both of them. And um, thanks so, so much for doing that. We're coming this from quite late again. I'm going to play around with a few evening videos for the 10 to 14 days. Just seeing how uh, the views and that do. Um, and because we're recording this a bit late, I also I'm having, I've had a relaxing day. I've been off work yesterday and today, so I've been uh, relaxing it out for the last couple of days. But anyway, because I'm recording this quite late, it means that, again, we will be able to have a look at 12Z as well, at least as much of it as we can. We can't show the ECM because that doesn't finish updating until 8pm. Uh, doesn't start update, updating until 7pm. Um, but we can show you pretty much everything else, I think. So uh, that'll be at the end of the video. Right, let's get into the Tropical Atlantic. So, we've got Tropical Storm at Gabbio. Yeah, we've got a disturbance area here. Only a 20% chance of cyclone formation with that, though, in the next seven days. So, I don't think you have to worry much about that. We have got Tropical Storm Gabrielle giving maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour with a minimum set pressure of 1,004 millibars. Uh, moving west northwestwards at 50 miles per hour. Clicking on Gabrielle. As we said yesterday, this is likely to become a hurricane somewhere around Bermuda by the beginning of next week and then uh, moving northwards uh, away from Bermuda. If we go to discussion, we can see that in 120 hours, this is predicted to give maximum, su maximum sustained winds of 90 mile per hour. So that's getting towards, but not quite at category two hurricane status. So up to 120 hours still uh, powering up. We shall keep you updated. Latest weather map from Earth from NorthSchool.net shows that low pressure remains in control to the west of the UK and Ireland. And we continue to bring in uh, weather systems, uh, bringing outbreaks of rain from off the Atlantic. We are putting up some warmer air at the moment, though. Uh, rather warm and humid feel with the air coming up from the Azores. That's going to last two or three more days, but will uh, get cut off over the weekend. Sensing temperature is uh, currently sitting at 15.1, that's 1.5 degrees above the 61 to 1990 average, and it's provisional to the uh, 17th of September there. These are the GFS up rare temperature precipitation ensembles. The next couple of weeks, we're at London today, red line. Is a 30-year upper air temperature average for London. Starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. Same that way into the weekend. Then over the weekend to start next week, we get a bit of a tumble with the upper air temperatures. They uh, reduce quite a lot. Go down to around 0 degrees uh, 858 pm, which is quite an autumnal time air mass. So we will have a cool down later in the weekend and into the start of next week. Uh, I think we're in for some pretty uh, chilly nights. Then after that, hovering close to, or maybe even a little bit below, the long-term 30-year average. Precipitation-wise, so going to be some uh, wet weather associated with that cool down at uh, the weekend. Um, but to be honest, that's a pretty dry ensemble. It looks like we're moving into a drier uh, phase for the rest of September, especially so actually down in the south. Been a very wet September so far, but things should be starting to dry out a little bit. Temperature anomalies for the next five days to the 23rd of September, below average for the north and west, still a bit above average in the southeast. Five to nine, though, going substantially uh, below average. I would say colder than average, even. Across many parts of Europe, uh, most western parts of Europe turning uh, cold and average air. But 10 to 14 day temperature anomaly just hovering close to normal. And precipitation anomaly is for the next seven days to the 25th of September. Driving average in the north and in the south and in between. Uh, wetter than average or wet average sway there through northern England and into Ireland. Right, let's start going through chart data. Uh, Miss our latest UK met your run. It's looking big night on Sunday. Low pressure over top of the country, bringing heavy rain to the north and west. Probably not that much, though, down in the southeast, but we've got to firm up on that uh, by tomorrow. In any case, by Monday and Tuesday, that loads out of the way. 
And we're into a much cooler air mass there. The air's coming in from the north under a ridge of high pressure. I reckon that will start to produce some quite cold nights as we go through uh, next week. So let's watch that central inland temperature tumble away into the 14s next week where we start getting uh, a run of colder nights. That's how we look as we end the UK Met Euro run. Gets us to uh, next Thursday and we're under a, a big area of high pressure then. So going back to high pressure. Uh, low pressure out of the way uh, with ICOG by uh, Monday into Tuesday. And then we're into those uh, cooler uh, northerly winds. Now, ICOG has like a little trough though messing about down in the south. So that would be a bit disappointing if it came off. Central northern regions, no problem, mostly dry under that area of high pressure. But down in the south, that would be, you know, a bit of a nuisance, a bit of a fly in the ointment. We'd have a lot of cloud, probably quite uh, a few showers, you know, maybe some longer spells of rain. No, hopefully we don't get a, 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 the legacy of below, so they're still messing about in the southeast through next week. Let's see what KMA does. So that builds in high pressure nicely. That's what we're looking for if you want some drier uh, but chillier weather through the course of next week. So that's quite a cold, cool ridge. Um, we'll produce some quite chilly nights. However, not going to be too bad by day. Don't get me wrong. We're not going to be talking about, you know, uh, particularly uh, cold conditions um, by day. Probably the same attempting to the mid teens Celsius anyway. Sun does have quite a lot of strength to it still at the moment. But it'll be most notable... I think, by night. That's how we end up with the um, KMA. So the high pressure just out to the west of the country, bringing in this northwesterly wind, mostly dry, but still quite chilly. Then we've got the GFS. So again, real dark border over top of the country, midnight on Sunday. That gets out of the way through next week. It takes a couple of days, but by the time we get through to Tuesday, Wednesday, we're under the ridge of high pressure. We'll be quite chilly and that area of high pressure, particularly at night. But the trend is a drying one, drying out. And then we move up towards day 10. The high pressure starts to head up towards Scandinavia. Interesting. And, uh, well, it becomes like a Scandi high or like a blocking feature in the Norwegian Sea. We do also, though, have a ridge to our west and southwest. So the upshot is just mostly dry and a bit chilly, really, uh, with high pressure remaining in control into early October there. Big change compared to what's happened through September so far. And then we've got GFS 6 then, again, building in that high pressure next week. Chilly by night, not too bad by day under that area of high pressure. Eventually by day 10, we take the high pressure up towards Scandinavia. Uh, do we pull in like a proper easterly? Not really, because low pressure starts flirting to our south and west. So um, the block is maintained, though, up to the 4th of October and uh, probably just uh, remaining generally dry, but quite chilly in most places. Rain in the west and southwest. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's say uh, what you think about this sound, all my videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about that. So I get to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that for us. We need to put on around 75 subscribers. Uh, no, about 70, I think it is now. Moves, subs moved quite a bit yesterday. Uh, 70 subscribers to get us to... Uh, 20.6k so you could get stuff that would be absolutely incredible and amazing and also thank you so for doing that don't forget the guys on this calendar is out for you to uh buy so this front cover of our 2026 calendar if you want to snap up a calendar, all you need to do is send £13 to our PayPal uh, account. You can find the link in the description with the video. Send £13 and uh, we'll do the rest. We'll get the uh, calendar out to you. This is our PayPal page. So you just come here, click through the link in the description. And then sign in, log in to your PayPal account and send £13 to Gazweb. It's one free. Uh, £10 to calendar, £3 postage and packaging. And uh, we will get your calendar out to you. Thank you so much to everyone who's, who's uh, ordered and brought calendars so far. Been a tremendous success. Thank you so much everyone. And of course, thank you so much to our calendar designer, James098, for designing the calendar. And a special thank you to everybody who submitted photos for the calendar. Thank you so much everyone. Right, GM, again, low pressure right on top of the country from dartboard on Sunday. That gets out of the way, leaves us with a northerly wind into Monday and Tuesday, turning drier under high pressure. 
but quite chilly. Heading up towards uh, the second half next week, still a little bit rich of high pressure, lots of dry and fine conditions. Uh, by day 10, lots of high pressure just begins to slip away into Eastern Europe. There's some layer pressure threatening coming from off Atlantic. That's turning a bit warmer as well, with winds shifting around to the south. That's the 28th of September. And we each have rounded it all off. Again, low pressure clearing away to the east on, on uh, Sunday into Monday. Leaving us with those northerly winds. High pressure then is in over the country. So, middle next week, looks like a chilly ridge, bringing some quite cold nights, mostly dry though. And by day, not too bad uh, with temperature. And then we head up towards days 9 and 10, still keeping that high pressure influence going. By day 10, though, low pressure is starting to come up from the south. So, a bit of a change by day 10 with the east. Yeah, that brings wet weather back up from the south. And then we really start to open the door to low pressure from the Atlantic into the beginning of October. So rather different ECM compared to most of the other extended output today uh, with a more unsettled flavour for early October. We'll see about that. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tibet.com. So I've got this band of rain stuck through the central swathe of the country for the next couple of days. Uh, we're going to be seeing pulses of heavy rain running in along that uh, weather front. And then the front will develop into an area of low pressure and bring potentially a deluge to Northern Ireland, Northern England and Southern Scotland. If this was winter, that's the sort of pattern that could probably bring a big snow event because it's not winter in September, so it's just going to be a load of <laughs> a load of rain. Uh, that's uh, wet weather eventually moves down into the south later in the weekend. And by the start of next week, it's all getting out of the way. High pressure takes over there, brings lots of dry, fine conditions with it. However, as we run up towards day 10, we're going to find wet weather begin to come back up from the south. So that's day 10 with more rain beginning to head back in from the south and from the east. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 28th of September. 18 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure on Scandinavia, low pressure to our south. That could bring wet weather into south by day 10. That does include the control of the operation run. We've got 13 with low pressure still over top of the coach. That could be unsettled, of course. We've got 11 with high pressure blocking between Iceland and Norway, mostly dry but chilly with east winds. And then we've got 9 with high pressure Originating through the country. So, well, quite a few options there. A bit of uncertainty, actually, for day 10, whether we're under high pressure or low pressure. Two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It'll get us to the 3rd of October. 21, mem 21 members of the ECM ensembles with a Scandinavian high and an east wind, mostly dry but chilly. With that, we've got 16 with high pressure through the country, mainly dry. Again, it could be chilly by night. Probably not too bad by day. And 14 with uh, low pressure or Denmark. That bring in uh, a showery northwesterly flow. It looks like the trend is to high pressure, but uh, how quickly that happens uh, remains to be seen. It looks like early October should be anticyclonic. Right, CFSB2, uh, a member of the 12th had member done. So these are 500 millibar high tonometers. So broken down to week periods. The first week period takes from the 18th to 24th September. Next week with high pressure in the Atlantic, low pressure towards Scandinavia. And we bring the wind down from the north or northeasterly uh, direction there. Week 2 will be the 25th of September to the 1st of October. High pressure blocking things out around Greenland and tough low pressure, you know, Scandinavia. And we bring the wind down from the north. So drier but chillier there. Week 3 <laughs> will be the uh, 2nd to the 8th of October. Tough of low pressure developing through the northwest of Europe, blocking around Greenland. Uh, so I can bring the wind in from the north northeast. That looks quite chilly, maybe even quite cold for early October. Uh, most unsettled weather is on the continent, but by the time we get through the week four, which is the uh, 9th to 15th of October, that trough is actually uh, backing into the west of Europe. So uh, unsettled and chilly with that. Still with the ridge of the Atlantic going up towards Greenland. And uh, the upshot is that we bring the wind in from a north or a northeasterly direction, quite a cold, chilly, uh, and unsettled outlook there into middle of, middle of October. Okay, let's just have a quick look at Trails Z, and then we're done. So, UK Bet Euro Run looks like this. Uh, 
Uh, low pressure clearing away through Sunday, leaving us with both chilly northerly winds and high pressure is in through next week, bringing a lot of dry weather. But again, it will be chilly, particularly by night, and that uh, area of high pressure. Uh, Icon again builds that high pressure in, but again, look at Icon flirting with that little annoying low <laughs> across northern France and southern England through the middle part of next week. So that would be a real spoiler uh, to the drier weather for the south. Anyway, no, no problem for the north, of course, close to the high pressure, but for the south, that would be a spoiler, let's hope. Um, that we don't, you know, we don't uh, see that little thing messing about, little feature. Uh, then we've got the GFS looking like this. So, again, high pressure building in nicely through next week. No little trough to the south being a nuisance, just nice and dry under that area of high pressure. Uh, chilly by night, not too bad by day for temperature. The high pressure becoming more of a Scandinavian high uh, later on, bringing, bringing in an easterly wind. And the high pressure maintained up to the 4th of October as far as we get to. But again, it's a Scandi high, bringing, it, bring, bringing in an easterly wind. So certainly no heat wave with that. And then, uh, but yeah, finally looks like this. Again, high pressure ridging through the country. Looking quite good next week if you want some drier weather. Won't be a heat wave. Will be quite chilly, particularly so at night. Uh, eventually, by day 10, which is 28th of September, looks like low pressure is uh, knocking on the door. <laughs> but uh, as ever, that's a long way off, so we shall see. And time will tell. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, show, share, one, four, dear, Matt. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all my videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about gas, but get subscribed to Make sure to everyone for doing that. Tomorrow, we're going to have, to, going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Jeremy Friday at 10 14 day. Keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.